Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day. Hello, how's it going? Back for another episode of Feed the Beast, guys. I had a little mod pack reset, so I had to redo my binds. How's everybody doing today? As you guys can see, we are in a new location. But before that, we'll go over our to-do list. On today's episode, I want to get some auto crafting done. I want to get all of the applied energistics items automated so we can request them on the fly as you guys can see i upgraded our wireless terminal from the last episode i made a uh, wireless range i forgot what it was called is it called dimension card no it's called i made an infinity range booster so it's three of those boosters i had in the last episode with a nether star nether right ingot and an eye of ender and that allows me to use this pretty much wherever. But yeah, as you guys can see, we're in a new location. Let's check it out. This is our house. This is the house I built off stream. I kind of like it. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Nice little modern house with a swimming pool here. And we have our light tower here. Oh. It's pretty nice. Oh, sorry about that. All right, well, let's check it out. When we enter the room, we got our to-do list. We have our auto crafting, our to-do list. We have auto crafting for today's episode. I want to automate mechanism as well. Automate some create machines. Make make a new island uh, for magic. I want to explore and most importantly, uh, be happy. It's on to-do list. It's on everybody's to-do list. All right. All right. You understand? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Hello. Give you a tour of my house here. Here we have our nice table here with some cake oh yeah this uh paxel automatically places torches with the right click i ate too much cake we have our chandelier it's pretty nice we have our kitchen and i got some potatoes in here oh yeah you can never have enough potatoes we have lots of kitchen cabinets to put our potatoes in we have two refrigerators because we're built different, I guess. We have some nice books, a uh, nice sofa. This is just used for aesthetics. This is a block of coal with some create seats. It's pretty nice. Here we have like our office area. This is my little office here. You can sit down, do some work. I got the picture of the old lady up there, as always. Uh, we have our little bed here with our zombie and we have our chest here with some more cake because you can never have enough cake i'll have to get this automated at some point uh but we have that and we got our nice uh armor stands with uh different types of armor so i can swap out this is netherite armor and there we go netherite is cool i like netherite but yeah, we have our crafting station here. It's like a crafting table. Uh, we can craft some cool, uh, I don't know, like stairs and stuff and blocks. Another crafting sta station. We have a damage anvil because I have been using this. And we have a trash can. Just put like the stuff in the trash or something. And we have our experience obelisk to get all of the levels here. I just stored all of my levels in there. 199 not too bad check it out nice little look uh during the day uh let's turn it on with shaders here check it out video settings shaders enable oh it's disabled all right let's enable it uh now uh shaders apply there we go. All right, check out our world here with shaders on. It looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. Pretty cool. So this is what I've been doing off stream the past couple days. I have streamed this once or twice throughout my building process, but I did that on Twitch. Uh, and yeah, I didn't record it because I don't know how entertaining that'll be. But it came out pretty nice. I like it. 
I have this angel block here to give me like that angle. So I can like zoom in. Because if not, it'll just be like kind of zoomed out like that. And you have the rest of our world here. Nothing else has changed. I have added some trees there and some more dirt to surround our applied energistic network building. Uh, we do got one employee there now. We'll check that out in a little bit. But let's continue on the tour here. We'll turn shaders off for now. If you guys like shaders enabled or disabled, let me know. We have our dirt blocks here. I did use a lot of dirt to build this, as you guys can see. Uh, it took a lot of dirt. Uh, but let's check it out. I really like how this came out. I have to build like a staircase going up here. I've got some white concrete as well. Not too bad. Check it out. Uh, let's go. Up. I haven't built a staircase. I like to build like a table here or a staircase going up. At the moment, it's just hollow. I don't want to leave it like that. But as you can see, we are above the clouds here. We have a good view of our whole world. Uh, we have this uh, glowstone kind of like light tower. I kind of want to switch that out for create blocks and some simply light blocks. But if we continue on past the light tower, I'm not sure why this mob farm isn't working, but I'll we'll check that out later. Uh, this is going to be where we go fishing. Check it out. I want to build a little hut here, but maybe we'll do that this episode or maybe I'll do it off stream. Five hours later. There we go. GG. I got a fish. I don't know about eating raw fish. If you, I guess if you feel like sushi, I suppose. I don't know. We got our bees here. Pretty nice. I did get some turtle eggs. So let's go ahead and place these down. Get these spawned. I had one here. The axolotl lotl and the panda disappeared for whatever reason. I don't know. I keep having moms disappear here. No idea why. I did do some stuff in this room. So let's check it out. I did add some half slabs here to make it look nice. As you guys can see, uh, our little network has expanded a little bit. I went from one ME controller to 20 ME controllers. What this does, it gives me more channels. So each face of these gives you 32 channels with the right cable. Uh, so this can equal up to 1,024 channels, somewhere around there, more or less. So I can have a lot of machines connected. Uh, these right here are pattern providers. We'll go over these more in detail in a little bit, but in hindsight, you can add patterns here and it'll automatically craft it for you. For example, if we type in patterns, I do have one here already, but if we type in 10 of these, I'm missing some. We want to get to the point where if I am missing some, it'll automatically make them. Next. All right, so I made one. Check it out. Uh, 256. Now I can craft this. That's what these do. You can provide them with patterns and you can automatically craft something with the appropriate crafting storage upgrade and processing unit. Kind of like a crafting table. So the patterns that are inside of these will again oh. Will then get put in here and it'll craft it for you within this molecular assembler and what you would want to do is oh ye what you would want to do is is surround these uh pattern providers with more molecular assemblers so it has more space to craft Ooh. These are quantum rings. What these allow me to do is tra uh, wirelessly transfer items from one location to another or transfer items from, let's say, over there to our network over here. So let's set up. Let's set up a couple P2P tunnels. Is this what I need here? Let's set up a pattern for this. So then we, we can put it in our pattern terminal. And if we go back to our regular crafting terminal we type in p2p and craft we should be able to craft a couple let's can i craft 10 
as you guys can see, we just set up a quick recipe and it automatically crafts items for us. It's kind of nice. Point to point networking. And we will need a memory card. So let's check it out here. A memory card. So I can make this. However, we can just set a recipe for it. And we should be able to just craft them. So for example, if I did this and just did, let's say three, it'll automatically make three for me. One smart cable to this will only send 32 channels. But if I hook up these ME P2P tunnels, I can send more than 32 channels over there. Okay, so this has eight channels, but it's sending it this way. I want to send the channels here this way. But maybe it has to be like this. All right, so I can only send seven channels there, which is okay. Uh, I'm not sure how many channels that is. We should check it out. 32 times seven equals. All right, I can get 224 channels with this setup. Device created. Now, I think this is how it works. I'm not too sure. We're going to figure it out. But we have one quantum ring here, and now it has seven P2P channels running to it. So, so if I were to do this on the other side here, I should have those same channels. If I do this. So. And then. And then I should have two, three. Let's create more of those P2P tunnels. Oh yeah, check it out. This is our computer scientist. Uh, he is our villager. You give him a computer and he provides you with uh, computer craft items. In this case, it's advanced peripherals. It's kind of cool. It fits the theme here. Uh, I'm dying, bro. GG. Uh, now I'm not sure if I need separate memory cards for this, but as you guys can see, that's seven channels there. We have seven channels going out. So now theoretically, I should have a bunch of channels there. I'm wondering if it's the same EA1F. Let me see if I have an EA1F over there. EA1F. No. No. Uh, how do I? Link it. Alright. Well, I might have to make more. I guess I need one memory card per P2P tunnel. Let's check it out. Let's go ahead and create some more memory cards there. Remember. And the goal of this is to uh, get more channels in our building over there. One to blink five six seven i'm gonna put this all in here for now one two three oh 
man. Four, five, six. I need one more. Seven. Copy current configuration to memory card. Now, if I were to break these. And do it all over again. And one, two, three. Two. No. Three. And then D seven. One, two, three. Six, seven. So what do I do? Can I just right click this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what I can do here now is add the smart cables here, I think. And I should have 32 channels on each of these. As you guys can see, it says zero of 32 channels, zero of 32 channels. In the beginning, we only had 32 channels coming out of that single quantum ring. Now, with the P2P tunnel setup, we already have double that. And if I add that right there, it should be another 32. So 32, 32, 64 plus 32 is, I don't know how many. I'm not good with math. <sighs> but that's pretty nice. So we can go ahead and just save these now i guess i don't think i'll ever move these and i think i have more than enough channels here now for this whole setup because this is going to require some channels this is going to require some channels and this is going to require some channels so i want to go ahead and automate this right here this process so let's go ahead and remove all these items what this will allow us to do is create these calculation processors and logic boards on the fly so just in case we need them they're there and i don't have to do them manually and chiseled quartz i like this block because it looks kind of like uh futuristic it kind of looks like it's floating via magnets like uh it's pretty cool i like it oh now that we have our channels into our office here our warehouse we then need to add some pattern providers just like we have over there on top of here with all the different recipes we need so we'll start off with this one uh, now either i make more dense cables or i'll have to set up another p2p tunnel which will just save me some wire at the end of the day that's all it is can i make 30 of these all right, so I don't have a recipe for this. So let's make the pattern providers first. All right, I'm missing Fluix dust as well. So let's go ahead and make some of this real quick manually for now. I do have this pulver. Oh, there we go. That works. Pulverizer with the resonant or reinforced integral component makes this process really fast. And the way I'm producing this right now is via trades. So if you put in paper here, it automatically trades the emeralds for me. And if I were to put these emeralds in here, it'll automatically trade Fluix Crystal for me. So it's pretty nice. I do want these guys automated because all I need to do is give this guy some paper and we should be good for pretty much infinite emeralds. And we just give this guy some emeralds and it'll automatically produce Fluix Crystal every couple of Minecraft days. It'll automatically do it for us. It's kind of nice. What I want to do is just have this on top of every machine here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, pattern. Now let's make 20 of these. And I can make this faster as well. We can also add 
acceleration cards to each one of uh, the molecular assemblers that are over there. And that'll make it process a lot faster. So these are all done now. So I can just put these on top of every single one of these. And we should be good. And what I can do is grab this dense cable. And then these will all be connected here. Let's go grab 50 of them. So I need quartz. Recipe. I don't have that auto crafted, which we will need to do. Uh, there we go. Dense. Let's craft a hundred. I'm missing some more. All right, fifty. All right, fifty works. I got one. Now, will this be enough to go all the way over here? It might be. Nice. It says device offline. Unlinked. Oh, I know why. Oops. I did not add it. The thing. Yeah, this right here. There we go. Network booting, network online. Now, as you guys can see, if it worked, you can see the channels that are being used there now. So now I have eight out of 32 channels there. As you can see here, it shows you via the lines here. So now these are all connected here. So we can go ahead and start making the patterns for these. And hopefully what I can do is if we go in here, we can see the inscribers here. We can see pretty much everything, the charger. So if I wanted to make charge Certus, I can do that via here. So go here. If I click on the pattern encoding terminal, look up charge service. It'll give me the option to encode pattern. So then I can put this in here and put this in the charger setup right here. Now, if I wanted charge service, so let's go ahead and craft 10. Uh, it should pop up here. Uh, if it's given power, because I have the flux point here. Well, I'll be back. Oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and give this some power. Pipe. And just run power through here. And there. And then wrench. Uh, it should be working out. Does it have to be like... Alright, well now it's working. As you can see, it's working now. Did I make it already? 10. Let's craft 10 more. So now if I need some, it should work now. I think these right here automatically push and pull items. So we'll test that out here as well. So this is working now. We got auto crafting. That's nice. And then... The next thing we want to do is silicone. And for that, we need to smelt. Smelting factory. 
I can go ahead and grab this one. And... Dust. Yeah, we're gonna need this dust here. Need one more pattern provider. So that means we'll have nine channels here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should be. Uh, now they're all online. I don't, as you guys can see, I don't really know how this works as of yet. But we have one channel here. And eight channels being used there. As you guys can see, it is using nine channels here, though. So I don't really know how this works, honestly. But as long as it's counting here, coming out from there, we should be good. So there's nine channels there. Maybe you can only have eight items connected adjacent to it. And then if it's any more than eight, you'd need an additional cable. Which I'm assuming... I don't know, honestly. But let's go ahead and craft some silicone. Auto craft some silicone. In the pattern encoding terminal, we can do surges quartz. Uh, if we type in uses, uses, hit the smelting option here to make silicone. We can grab this pattern and then we can go ahead and with this uh applied energistic network it automatically detects our mechanism basic smelting factory so what i can do now is just add this here and if i were to request for some silicone uh, let's go ahead and craft i don't know 50. uh it should automatically put that in here with the right settings uh as you guys can see it is working so what we need to do here is uh, side configs. So we need to clear all this out. We want to input and output and eject from the top. So if we go ahead and craft another 50. We should be good there. As you guys can see, it's automatically processing now. So it's inputting the Certus Quartz and exporting the silicone directly from the top here. Now I can run another cable. And we'll have access to a lot more Certus Quartz in here, as you guys can see. We got 187 different items here individual stacks i suppose with silicone automated now we can then go ahead and go to the next step and making silicone uh silicone printed silicone so with that go ahead and make some printed silicone so what we do here is in the pattern pattern encoding terminal click this click this uh, I, I'm not sure if I need that there or not. I'm going to find out. Now, I'm brand new to this mod pack as well. I just want to explain it to the best of my ability. So if I were to do this here and type in this, I need 64 of these. Let's do 50. All right, so what I'm going to have to do, if you shift right click, it empties out the pattern. So what I'll have to do here is just remove that and then there we go because we can have what we can do is just have that press just in there so it just automatically sends out the silicone and we don't have to worry about the press we can just have it in there so now if i do 50 of these as you guys can see it's just pumping them out real fast and it's automatically putting it into our network so it's kind of nice So then our next step here would be for gold. So let's go ahead and look up all the press. Uh, 
AE2. We want to go ahead and have all these automated here, so... Let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got the first one made. The next one would be for gold. So now, there we go. Uh, we already made the silicone one. I like to have them in order like this. And these are everything we need in order to make the hard drives. I think some of these controllers, uh, pretty much. Yeah, we, we're going to need that automated. It's like a core function, core like recipe for any of the building blocks there. That's what you want to call it. So now, what we can do is just put these the logic. We're going to put this one here. I'm going to put calculation circuit here. I want to put the engineering one here. And then I want to put the logic one here, the calculation processor there, and the engineering one there. Now, to test if this works. Can go ahead and type in processors. Let's go ahead and craft, I don't know, 10 of these. All right, that works. And then I want 10 of these. And that works. And then 10 of these. Nice. So now we have all the circuits crafted. So that's kind of like a introduction to auto crafting with applied energistics. Quick recap. We have our controller here with multiple faces here to give us more channels connected via P2P uh, tunnels. What this allows you to do is it allows you to transfer 32 channels from a single cable versus a dense cable. And then you can take these 32 channels each and then you can move on here and then i have different channels here the same p2p channels i have one single cable here connected to these nine machines here and those nine machines are being used here nice remember how we emptied this out a while ago let's see if there's any more in here as you can see there's almost three stacks of emeralds and there's almost three stacks of fluix crystals so it's kind of nice so if you just rinse and repeat you can just put them here and it'll give you more now what as you can see here i can set up another auto trader with another one of these librarians and i can automatically make the certus course crystal so i can remove the, this process altogether with that process as you can see here, it's struggling for power here. But we can give it a little boost. This only transfers 256 FE a tick. However, with this pipe upgrade, we can transfer a lot more now at 32,000. As you can see, now it's fully charged and it's going. Uh, I think my employee went on break or something, bro. Where'd you go? I'm not gonna lie, that's our second employee. The first one, the second, first one, I have no idea where you went. He just despawned as well, I think. Uh, as well as that one, honestly. Uh, well done. He didn't like the work environment. <laughs> Alright, it's all good, bro. Well, hopefully we'll get a new employee here. I can probably recruit one of those and put him in like a little office so he doesn't despawn, I think. I did auto crafting. I can't automate mechanism. However, I don't want to bore you guys with just auto crafting all the time it's just mainly me looking at the pattern terminal and just hitting all right make this recipe make this recipe i want this series to be as entertaining as possible so we can go exploring or we can just call it there which i think i might do i want to try out a new thumbnail layout so 
in every episode, I'm going to try to have all the items we work on here. And then I've got a P2P tunnel there. And then can I get like a good thumbnail? There we go. Perfect angle there. So I think this will be kind of like our new thumbnail. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and F3 that. Or F2, F1. I think it's F2. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. I'm going to include this on in the video. Yeah. All right. Well, there, there's my new thumbnail. But yeah, this is our base. Check it out. I built this off stream. It's pretty nice. Uh, I would like to build a fishing hut here with uh, kind of like a, a bench or like a swing. And I would like to build a spiral staircase here at some point. But check it out, ladies and gentlemen. I think it looks pretty badass. I put a lot of work into this. So I'm proud of it. I like it. Next episode, we might go exploring. Or we might dabble into create. Who knows? But whoever's tuned in, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for your time. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good day, good night, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. I don't know, just have a good day. Until next time, see you guys later. See you later, bro. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, hopefully you guys have a good day, good night, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, I'm out. Peace.